Throne and Liberty Endgame has plenty to do. And in order to max out your productivity, here is your daily to-do list. Head over to the Sundries Merchant and make sure to stock up on the daily limit of egg, rye, and honey. This will come in handy when you try to cook some high-end items later on and you don't want to miss out on these key ingredients. Next, you want to complete your daily contracts. Depending on the ones you select, by hitting refresh, gives you great crafting supplies as well as a chance at a blessing pouch. And if you pick all similar contracts, you can easily get all these done in less than 10 minutes. With these contract coins, come over to the contract coin merchant and purchase these daily items. Mystic Key. These are very important as they will allow you to see on the map and interact with Mystic Globes, which drops epic loots. Get your daily Precious Blessing Pouch. Your Fishing Bait. Just buy your Fishing Bait, trust me. And if you have coins to spend, get the Rare Parchments. Now these are easier to get in other ways, like with the Contracts, but if you have extra money, make sure to pick these up. Now, head over to your Guild Merchant. You want to make sure that you're doing your daily contributions to your guild. Even a small to medium one will grant large amounts of guild coins. You would want to get your mana regen potion, quality recovery crystal, rare recovery crystal. If you have some extra coin on hand, the material chest may come unhandy, although it is quite pricey. And that's the same with the precious and rare selection box to build up a stockpile of crafting supplies on demand. Buying all these daily will help when you want to max out cooking, crafting, or making lithographs to sell in the auction house for some lucent. In the next video, we'll go over what you should do weekly.